So I just wanted to make a quick video regarding how we can calculate Pearson's correlation coefficient on your typical calculator. So the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is put our calculator into stats mode. So we just press mode and then two. Then after that, we'll go and select option two to A plus BX, so option two. And now we come to this screen, all we need to do is input our data. So it's going to be the X coordinate values and the Y coordinate values. So we'll just press whatever numbers you have, press equals, and then go through and put in your va uh, values as such. Now I'm just putting in some dummy values, so it doesn't actually matter what I'm putting in for now, but we'll see shortly uh, the results that we get. So I'm just putting in something that should give us a relatively strong correlation here. So let's see. All right, so now that we've gotten to the end of our data, what we'll do is we'll hit the all clear key. So now we'll press shift one to get into our stat mode. And we have a few different options once again, but we're gonna go ahead and press five for regression. And once again, we have quite a few different options here, but we recognize R, option three, as being the variable for Pearson's correlation coefficient. So now we have R on the screen. All you need to do is press equals, and that's the value of our correlation coefficient. So obviously, due to the values that I put in, we would have expected a very, very strong linear positive uh, correlation. And that's exactly what we see here by, uh, by Pearson's correlation coefficient being equal to almost one. And there we are.